Brought to you by Healthcraft, provider of cookware, cutlery, and food processing equipment for Harrison Company. Hey, here it is, nighttime on Harrison Company as we bring on the creator of Healthcraft Cookware and the man who's taught me so much about cooking. I, my wife, or nobody else can believe it, Mr. Charles Knight. Hey! And I might say, one of the first things you have taught me is never leave your liquor near an open flame. It could explode. That's correct. You've got the bottle right there on the stove. I that's, noticed that. That's correct, but there's no open flames yet. Oh, okay, no open flames no open yet. Flames. Joe pointed that out. See, <clears throat> Joe, you shot me down. Sorry about that. Go. All right, now what do we do to make filet Well, you're stuff. not going to, this recipe is beyond belief. Really? I oh, know, I can it's smell beyond it. belief. I can see what it's I had, doing We here. had some guests over last Tuesday night. I want to make something special. Yeah. And I put this together. Definitely, it's expensive. Uh -huh. This is one of those $50, $60 meals. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's a, $50 or $60 it could at be. home? It could be, it yes. You mean for everybody? Yeah. Now, this is something not I Not for just per person. No, it's about $50, $60 for everybody. For yeah. everybody, okay. But it, we make it with bourbon whiskey. Okay. Now, I would never drink this stuff in a million years. Well, I, I <laughs> don't either. <I've> <laughs> Maybe a million in one year, no. <laughs> but uh, it's great for cooking, though, and the way it works is real simple. You just heat this up, and you got to be careful because this will flame up. Okay. Because there is a lot of alcohol in it. Is so. this uh, cheap? Whiskey or expensive uh, whiskey? I don't. This is about fourteen dollars a bottle, but the we, we cooked. Oops, <laughs> almost Boy, dropped it. Almost we, a crisis right off the a, bat. Uh, we cooked with an eighty-dollar bottle. Oh, and there, there's definitely a difference, but it's it's not that bad. Not that bad. Okay, the way this starts out is very simple. You start out with I'm going to let you do the cooking. All right, and no, so you have to do what I tell you. I'm to ready, do. but I start. noticed you were looking okay? at there. I was looking right here. Okay, okay. you start with you start with garlic. Use about six cloves of garlic crushed so you can put them in here. The whole thing? No, just that's about six cloves. This is it? Yeah, that's about six cloves, somewhere around there. Or I if you like, you can that. use a little bit more. I like a little more because okay. I love garlic. So you start with that. Next thing you want to do is you want to cut your onions. All right. And these are, let's see if this thing is, there you go. All that's right. what you have a bowl there for to cut the onions into. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been bad. It never ceases. I knew there was something it never missing. never ceases. See, <laughs> look at this. I forgot to put I'm that in. Wait a minute, yeah. wait a minute. They, they love disaster. I know. I forgot to They love disaster. Okay. Now, I'm ready to go. There you go. You know what's funny? You know, all the, all the times you've been using this machine on the air, we've Ooh. never sold one of them. <laughs> you know that? This is a great machine. Last if you remember week, to put it down. Last week, I, I turned the machine. Remember I did the cabbage? Yeah. Six people called and ordered a machine just like that. <laughs> well, it well, you really just make it look terrible. Now, look at all the waste there. No, no, no. no, no. See, you don't have this down. See, you're pressing very hard, I can tell. What you do is no. just turn the handle, watch. Turn the handle, watch what happens. See how this peels it? Yeah, look what's the only left machine left. in the world that peels onions as it chops them. Okay. Right, we'll just stop at that, because I, I don't, we don't want to go any further than that. Okay? <laughs> Have you got right. enough? What I need to do is run a bunch of mushrooms through here next. Run a bunch right? of mushrooms? Yes. Quickly, because we've got to make this uh, sauce here. How do you do that just without Just keep getting... on pushing them in oh, there. okay. There you go. Push a whole bunch. Okay. There you go. Don't be afraid of it. Just remember, if the food turns red, you I know, too far. that's what I'm worried about. That's okay. Red mushrooms. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. <laughs> Clean the machine out. They, they never eat in your house. In your re <laughs> this man is opening up a restaurant. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is terrible. Wait a minute. You're not going to cook, I hope. Okay, now, oh, no. onions. Onions, we've got, we've got, what do we have? I forgot. Onions, mushrooms, and, yes. and a thing of garlic. Okay. Six now, things oh, of garlic. I lost the, I lost it. You just keep on, see how the, uh, see how the, uh, and the bourbon has disappeared? Yeah. It's the, evaporated. It burns off the alcohol, yeah. right? Yeah, it burns off the alcohol totally. Oh, right? smoke. We're going to so, have to have a major fire to get rid of that. Well, we're going to use about, we're going to use about three quarters of the bottle. You've got to be kidding. No, that's, that's why it's such a great recipe. Now, what you do is you constantly reduce this. Yeah. You see? You just keep on cooking, keep on cooking, keep on cooking until you reduce it. Right. That right? means until all the liquid's gone, right? Well, till most of the liquid's gone. Most of the right? liquid's gone. So you just gone. keep on reducing. Now, here's the secret to the whole recipe. The secret the right here, folks. Pay attention. To the this whole is recipe it. is the sugar. Ah. Now, we use Dixie Crystals because this is our new sponsor. Well, that's a good reason to use it. <laughs> but Plus, I, that's the kind I've used all my life anyway. I mean, yeah, you I, naturally grab Dixie Crystals when you go well, to the it, store. It's a phenomenal product, but you know what, you know what makes this... The most important part of the recipe? Tell me, pray tell, what does? Prithee. It's what they are it? paying for this. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm only kidding. No. I'm only kidding. Okay. What makes this the most important part of the recipe is that what it does. Can you smell that alcohol? Oh, yes. Well, you can get stoned in the kitchen. Yeah. Right? Okay. 
two to three tablespoons, what it does, it takes the edge off of the bourbon taste and it sweetens it. Now, uh, you didn't quite put two to three tablespoons I'm, in there. I'm sorry. There you go. That's, That's exactly it. Okay. All right. Now, you've got this mixing, right? Yes. And, whew. Oh. And you, you get a whiff of that? Yeah. Yeah. That is pretty That's powerful. exactly what I didn't want to do. All right. What, make it too strong? No, I wouldn't stuff? be able to finish the segment here. <laughs> You're okay. going to be staggering all Anyway. Whatever. Right. I was on TV it today. will it will burn it will burn all the alcohol off and you reduce it. Right. Okay. Okay. Once you've got it reduced, this is what it looks like. Ah. Oh. Now what I did is see I sliced the mushrooms in here, so you can do it either way. It doesn't make any difference. Well, look now, at see, that. Now see, now this is all cooked down, and that's with a bot the whole bottle of bourbon. That was with a whole the bottle, whole bottle of bourbon. The whole bottle. So what are you left? Just a little core, a little. Uh, just a yeah, just a little, a little piece bit. of hard bourbon. You now can probably here, chew that. Here's what you do. Okay, you take about a third or a half of this and you put it in here, all right? Yeah. We're going to save that for the gravy. And this is how you make the stuffing. Oh, now, this is the stuffing, The stuffing. Too. What I need to do is I need to do one egg and beat the egg real good. One egg, beat it real good. Real good. Okay. And then, uh... Naturally, wipe it on your clothes. Beat it real good. <laughs> then, there you go. Okay. okay. Beat it real good. Very good. Put it in here. Wait a minute, it's not quite beaten. Okay. There you go. Okay, now you get the egg in there and you mix the egg real good in with this, right? And to that, you add your breadcrumbs. Ah. You see, and this is how you make the stuffing. A whole bunch of breadcrumbs. A crumbs. whole bunch of breadcrumbs to make the stuffing with. Now, we're going to take okay. a break and be right back and show you what this looks like and how it tastes in a moment. Don't go away on Harrison Company. Be sure and visit the Healthcraft Showroom located at 5414 Town and Country Boulevard, just one and a half miles west of Tampa International Airport on Hillsborough Avenue in the Town and Country section of Tampa. All Healthcraft products seen on Harrison Company can be purchased at the Healthcraft Showroom, which is open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., or you can call in Tampa, area code 813-885-5244. Why should one settle for just any brand of sugar when Dixie Crystals is only about a penny more a cup? Especially since there's no other sugar that shakes up, bakes up, or makes up better than Dixie Crystals. Or is more preferred. Dixie Crystal Sugar. The difference is crystal clear. Choosing an attorney is an important decision. You need to protect your rights and your future. If you've been injured due to an accident, I can help. I'm a board-certified civil trial lawyer. Less than 2% of all Florida lawyers have met the minimum requirements to become board-certified as a civil trial lawyer. I've studied forensic medicine with the University of Miami Medical School faculty and trial advocacy at the Harvard Law School. If I accept your case, I will fight for your rights. Call now. We're open evenings and weekends for your convenience. Today's cooking segment is brought to you in part by Dixie Crystals. Now back to Jack and Charles. Oh, very good, Joe. What a, what a job by our offstage, our chief offstage announcer here. This very is the, uh, the stuff. I went out part. to dinner with him the other night. He's very cheap. Oh, I can tell you that. Believe me. How cheap is it? He very, is so very cheap. cheap. <laughs> very cheap. Okay, what you do with the fillets now? So you stick a utility knife in like this. You stick a utility knife in. Yes. All right. Make sure the knife is very sharp. And don't push it all the way through. Right. Because you could, you know, end up like this and you won't know where your finger went. Yeah. Okay. This Anyways. Is, make a right. little pouch. A what little you're pocket. doing is you're making a pocket. Yeah, you're going to get in there and make a pocket. Now, what I need you to do is I need you to stuff that inside the thing while I make another pocket over here. Okay. All right. Open a little pocket up. Stuff it in. Actually, you do it with your fingers. You shouldn't be doing it with a fork. Now, that's, uh, you got to be kidding. No, you I can do you're it. You're not going to get it in there with the with the fork. No, you got to push it down. Like, well, maybe you're right. I know it. I know I'm right. That's why I'm the cook and you're the host. I don't think you made the hole big enough, and this is well, really not pleasant. That's exactly why it has oh, to be like this, man. so it doesn't come out. This you is see? not pleasant at all. I don't know if Audrey wants to eat this after we stuff this with our fingers. Well, 
look at here's how easy it is. See, I made the pocket. Right, yeah, stick your fingers in there. Hold, look at it. Doesn't hold sure much it does. at all. You just well, you don't make this there. pocket big look enough. It. I've got it down as far as I can get. Well, it. the hole is small. You got to make the pocket big. See, so it holds everything. You oh. got to stuff it in there real good. <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, it's, <laughs> okay. Like... Now, all right. Now we got them stuffed. Right? You stuff them real good. <laughs> ah! Why? Well, it's hot for one thing. It's well, oh man. Well, the reason. Ah, it's coming right off the thing there. No wonder. <laughs> It's burning my finger. It's sticking on there. Well, let me ask you a question. Now, you like yours Pittsburgh, right? Which yes. means rare in the middle. That's what it means. We got no paper towels here. Okay. <laughs> what? There we go. Now, it means rare in the middle. Would you like to have cold stuffing? No. Well, that's why it's hot. Okay. Ah. You know what I mean? Okay, anyway. Now, let's make the gravy. Okay. Here's how you make the gravy. All right? What I need you to do is I need to put two tablespoons of cornstarch in here. You got to do it quick. Tablespoons. Where's the tablespoon? Well, right there. It's right in the cornstarch. Oh, this. The yes. cornstarch. Two tablespoons. Quickly. Even, you only got two even, minutes. Evenly done. Even two minutes. Here. There's okay. one. Is that two a tablespoon? Yes. Two that looks tablespoons. Looks like a teaspoon to me. That that's right. a tablespoon. That's good. That's good. Okay. All right. Pour this in here, and you mix this all together. Okay. Right. That forms the gravy. You got this? Yeah. So you got stuffed fillets. You got gravy here. Right. And you got the steaks over here. Right. Okay. Come this way. This way. Yes. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the steaks out. Oh, boy. Now, see, I did the steaks Pittsburgh because that's the way you like it. Yes. All right. That's kind of seared on the outside. That's right. And, uh, you know, rare, medium, however medium you want in on the, the Medium in the center. Let's see. We'll put that one there. Okay. Okay. Now, you see all the mess you got in here? Right. That's the uh, right. glue on the bottom. What you do here is you deglaze this. See? Oh. That goes in there. And this is going to make the gravy. And that makes the gravy. Yes. All right. So you see, you've got the gravy mixing. But it'll take a while, right? No, it won't. It's all done. All right. It's done now. Yes. Give me a spoon over it's there. It's very please. thick. Uh, well, it's supposed to be very thick. A spoon. Does anybody see a spoon? There you go. Any spoon. Any spoon. There. Okay. Now, here's what you've got. Oh. You serve this with red potatoes. Or you could serve it with French fries. You could serve with French. You don't mind if I use my fingers, do you? You could serve there it with go. macaroni and cheese. <laughs> well, they do this in a restaurant, only you don't see it. <laughs> okay. Now, is that the only spoon you could find me? Well, it was the only right, one over this, here. This gets spooned on top of the steak. Oh, boy. All right? A little bit on the potatoes. Yeah. A little bit of mess around here. Clean yeah. this up, and you're served. There you go. And let me How about step that? right over here with Audrey, and she never has to do this as a flight attendant or probably has never done it as a TV anchor. No, I haven't. But this will be a first. You can add this to your resume. Look at that. It's cooked perfectly. Boy, I hope it's not too hot. Mm -hmm. Is this good? Mm -hmm. You didn't get mm -hmm. any of the stuffing. Mm -hmm. What you like it? If you want a copy of the recipe, send a stamped self-addressed envelope to Bourbon Stuffed Fillets, Box 888, Tampa 33601, and we will send you a copy of the recipe. I tell you, the staff is really excited about today's okay. show being over. Uh, you still like it? You tried some of the stuff inside of your mouth isn't fried or anything like that. No, it's it very good. good. Hey, she likes it. Charles, good job. Thank Audrey, you. good job. We'll be back with Brad Nimmons in a minute, who's going to talk about the movie Dangerous Minds.